After missing out on a running back in the draft, Jerry Jones is not ready to settle. Greg Rosenthal is joining us now. So what's Jerry Jones saying now? They asked him on a radio station in Dallas, would he trade a first-round pick next year to pick up a running back this year? Because right now you have Joseph Randall and Darren McFadden at the top of the depth chart. And Jerry Jones, who's just in win now, I don't care about the future mode, says, sure, we're open to it, which means we're going to get maybe a few more Adrian Peterson stories this offseason. Who knows that they are really all in. And that's what I, I really took from this, that Jerry Jones is thinking this is our time before Tony Romo's back flares up again. We got to win now and do everything possible to do it. So Adrian Peterson is the obvious answer, but who are other game-changing running backs that they could possibly go after? Game-changing, I don't know if those guys are out there, but I would keep an eye on the Cowboys in training camp. And maybe it's not going to be a first-round pick. But maybe there's a guy out there who's on the last year of his contract that you can trade a third or fourth round pick because trusting this offense to Joseph Randall and Darren McFadden <laughs> seems totally insane. Yeah, no, I agree 100%. All right, there's also been some rumblings about Des Bryant's contract situation. So it's a little more complicated, though, than just Des and the Cowboys, right? S Stephen Jones made a fair point that there's a lot of big-time receivers right now who are looking for contracts. A.J. Green is one of them. Demarius Thomas is another one. Julio Jones. And they're not all up, up for free agency. Demarius Thomas is. Each one of those guys doesn't want to be the first one to move. They, they want someone else to set the market for them. They're not going to make as much as Calvin Johnson, but I think in this new era where a lot of teams are flush with a lot of salary cap space, these receivers are pushing for monster deals. And Jones is right. Dez is part of an entire group of guys who wants bigger money. I do think Dez will have the hardest time getting a new contract. I think he's going to play under that franchise tag. All right, so, Greg, before I let you go, let me get your temperature on this team because I feel like you might be thinking they're a little too confident right now. Oh, they, The Cowboys always get way too confident coming off big seasons. It reminds me a lot of 2008 where they were coming off a one seed in the NFC playoffs, and they just thought they were going to coast into the playoffs. They had the perfect team. The Lyle Collins transaction and press conference really put it over the top for me, just looking at the wild confidence from Jerry Jones and Jason Garrett and them saying the offensive line could be the greatest ever, and they think they have three first-round picks. And the Cowboys right now, it just seems like they're headed for a fall, that they, they think they're the greatest, and they're probably headed for another 8-8 eight and eight season. Would you say that may, they maybe think that they're sitting on a throne of ease right now? <laughs> Something this? like that. I mean, Jerry Jones, he is the ultimate hype machine in the NFL, and he starts to believe his own hype, and I think that's what's happening right now. All right. Greg Rosenthal, thank you so much. And, of course, you can read the entire article by Kevin Patra. It's up on NFL.com slash Around the NFL.